and my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the docker tutorial series part 8 before watching this video I would highly recommend you to watch my previous part as well so let's quickly do the recap what we had covered in the previous video in the previous video we covered the difference between the CMD and the entry point and we also understood when to use what right so and the topic I choose for today's video is start docker ignore file uses so we're gonna see what is docker ignore file what it does for us and how we can get the maximum advantage out of using this docker ignore file so let's quickly do the demo on the same right so what I did is I have already created a small docker file and let me explain you it's very straightforward we have a uh, a base operating system then I'm copying all the files from the uh, from the build directory through which I'm just building this image then I'm just making work directory as user SRC then I'm just executing one script right so uh, let's quickly see what happens when we build this okay so here you can see bunch of folders we have like QA test unit test we have two test script as well test Python script and the test shell script we have you know the markdown files as well right so what happens when we build this docker image let's see let me just put docker ignore demo dot okay so if I just run this in an interactive mode so th that script is gonna be run right we know that right and if I just put win as such so now it is taking me to the user src folder right if I just put ls minus lta let's see what we are getting if you see we are getting all the files all the folders you know QA test you know unit test we are getting git test by test, test as such right so what is happening just quickly check what is happening sending build context when we just fire this build command sending build context to the docker daemon it means whatever file you have in the same directory all the files and the folders are are being sent to the docker daemon right and based on that it puts together all the files and the folders and start creating the images so there is no way for docker daemon to know what all files to be excluded what all files are not no longer required when actually you know somebody wants to use this image in the production or in the real time environment right so in the real time this happens a lot where we have a lot of files in our in our build directory from where uh, we are going to build our images and we intentionally want few files of the folder not to be a part of that image and that is where the docker dot docker ignore file becomes very important and very handy for us and it's pretty similar to what we have on a git is dot git ignore right so this is what we're gonna see and the other thing is what it does is it actually reduce the size of an image and that is what we want everybody wants in a real time in a production environment we always need a something which is consuming a very less space right and this is what we want and this is no longer the exception for the docker as well so now if i just create you know one dot docker ignore file how can i create that i mean on window uh, if i just create let's see let me just save it right so if I just save this file and put docker ignore and just make it all types I'm having this so it's pretty much straightforward pattern which is followed is like you know asterisk we have wild characters right so for that you can always refer the docker uh, docker documentation for that but let me just quickly show you with uh, with the with the demo right I want to exclude this QA test unit test and any folder which has test in it right because it is just for the testing so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a strict test so what would happen whatever the folder name is ending with the test it's going to be excluded right similarly I want to exclude dot git so for that I have to put dot get right now I want to I don't want this dot, dot docker ignore as well so what I can do rather than using a dot get I can put dot asterisk 
right? So whatever file are starting with the dot file or folder, it's going to be ignored. It is not going to be sent to the Docker daemon to create the image. Similarly, I don't want this contributing MD read MD. So here I have two ways. I can put extract dot MD. Okay, so both these files will not be part. Similarly, I don't want test py and test sh. I can put test dot py and test dot sh. Or if I want, I can put this as well. Okay, so this I am done with my Docker ignore file. So let me again create, you know, the Docker build and let's see what happens this time. If you will see sending build context docker daemon is 4.096 KB, whereas when we were not having that docker ignore, just see the size 207.4 KB, right? So now you can, this is pretty much obvious, quite evident that you know the size is getting reduced. So now let's see uh, if I'll just run this newly created image in an interactive mode. Let's see what happens. Okay, so ls minus lta. So we do not have those files which we don't want, right? We ignore that. We ignore all those files which we do not want to be a part of our image. So test a strict md. There is nothing, right? So this is what the use of Docker file. The another thing which I wanted to cover in this, it's very interesting, right? Sometimes what happens is you want to use these wild characters, but you want to have some exception where, let's say, for example, if uh, on the markdown file, if I want readme file to be copied to the container, right? So in that case, let me just quickly copy the name of this file. And for that, we have to use exclamation sign. Let's see what happens if I just put some file name with the exclamation. And this is just for the exception. So it is going to exclude this file from the actual actual, actual filter which we have put in a Docker ignore file. So let's quickly exit from this container. okay? And let's quickly build this again and see what's happened. Right? Now, you see? size has been increased. It's now 4.68, whereas it was 4.096, right? So it reduced a bit, right? But not very significantly. Oh, sorry, it is increased, right? Because now we are including one file. So from seeing this, it's quite evident. But let's quickly run it again and see whether this readme.md is getting copied or not, because that is what we want. We don't want to exclude that readme md because of dot ignore dot docker ignore file right so ls minus lta now you can see this readme dot md is getting copied and this is how you can use the docker ignore file in real time it's really important you have to understand what all files and folder you want to remove right and just for the wild card wild card characters you can always refer the docker documentation it's very comprehensive you can easily understand that and you can create the docker ignore file based on what you need so that's it from my side. That's it from my side for this particular video. If you have any feedback, any suggestion, or if you need any additional information on dot docker ignore file, please feel free to put that in a comment section. And whenever I'll be having a time, I will love to just you know respond on your queries. Thanks for watching this, and thanks for all support. And until my next video, keep healthy, keep learning. Thanks for watching this.